I don't know what I've done, but Italians seem to hate me. Every single time I check my YouTube analytics, my Italian viewership is declining. I don't know what I did. I set out to create a keyboard that would ignite their love for me by combining the most iconic Italian food, risotto. Oh no, 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 pizza with a mechanical keyboard. I know keyboards pretty well. And at its core, a mechanical keyboard is simply a case, plate, PCB, switches, and some keycaps. However, I don't really know pizza as well. Oh, that's really hot. It may appear that I'm wasting a perfectly good pizza. Ugh, come on. Yes. Not burnt, not overcooked. Perfectly done. What I am actually doing is finding structural similarities between a pizza and a mechanical keyboard. So it turns out pizzas and keyboards are actually very similar. Uh, let me explain. Every pizza has a base, right? The dough, in which all of the other ingredients are attached to, which is much like the bottom case of a keyboard. You see a pizza you like, you try and pick it up. What do you touch? Exactly, the crust, which can be thicker or thinner, just like the bezels of a keyboard. You starting to see it now? You have your dough, you have your crust, what do you put on? The life force of the pizza, tomato sauce. It's kind of what makes the whole pizza work, which is just like the PCB. You then layer all of that dough and that sauce with cheese. But having the right cheese is paramount to your pizza enjoyment, just like having the right switches and plate is paramount to your keyboard enjoyment. And so I took a few measurements and ended up with this, the Pizza Keyboard Mark One. It uses a two-piece design where the cheese top case slots onto the dough and crust bottom case. Then we connect our circuit board to a daughter board near the top of the pizza for easy USB access. The only issue is, <laughs> It kind of looks like a pizza from a PS1 game. The one glaring thing missing from my analogy and, well, from the pizza were toppings. The reason that is, is I just have no idea which ones to put on it. And as you know, the best way to learn is by doing. It's for research. That's, that's pretty good. And that's also actually pretty good. Wow. This is also actually really good. This is also pretty good. You won't believe this, but this is also pretty good. About five pizzas into my lunch, <clears throat> into my testing, I began to feel this insane synergy between myself and pizza. You know, I was really becoming the pizza topping until... I ate all of the pizza. And the worst part is, I still don't know which one I'm gonna make. This was actually the downfall of this entire scheme because uh, whilst I was sitting on my phone, I decided that I needed to do some in the field research and maybe talk to, I don't know, an Italian about what pizza means to them. Unfortunately, since I was out for the next three days, the only person who could do this was... That one? <laughs> yes, please. Right, so, <laughs> you're Italian, I believe. I was told. Yes, I am. What exactly is it about Italians and food that culturally they seem to really rave about it? It's just that we make the best food, so... No, I've heard that over and over again. I don't know whether it's true or not. It's the love put into it. It's the fresh toppings. It's the taste of the crispy crust. Is the dough made out of anything special? Water, flour, yeast. Italian yeast. Italian yeast. Italian cheese. Mozzarella. That was nice. Was that like an Italian word? I always thought that was English. From this list of uh, Domino's pizzas, what here would you say is the greatest Italian pizza? Did you know Domino's closed down in Italy and went bankrupt? Wait, really? I thought Domino's was like the best, most authentic pizza. American? No, no, no. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> American pizza, yeah, but not Italian pizza. Pizza that Italians eat is different to this. Better in every aspect. Every aspect. I will test that theory by coming to the home of pizza, Naples, Italy. I also kind of just wanted an excuse to eat pizza, and this is a really great reason to do it. So, holy moly. Okay, that was really good. Really nice. Got someone in your beard. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You spent £300 on a day trip to Italy because... Well, actually, I spent £300 of your money on a day trip to Italy. When did you get my car? I did not give this to you. And second, it was made extremely clear by going to Italy what kind of pizza you have to make. There was an incredible array of pizzas available with the freshest ingredients and decades of experience. And you do not have the skills to properly convey the rich set of colours and textures on a metal canvas. However, there is one pizza 
wombat Italians and weirdly especially American Italians online will always recognize and will always gravitate to and that is Hawaiian instead of trying to get them to like you go on imagine it their visceral anger upon seeing your thumbnail compelling them to click on the video and leave a comment telling you how bad your sense of taste is just too much for them to resist you want me to make a pineapple pizza keyboard? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay, all right. <clears throat> the pink ham and yellow pineapple screws into the pizza. Oh joy. With much regret in my heart, I went to submit my parts to a CNC factory, who then quoted me a price a couple hours later. Only, it turns out, I can't be right. Okay, yeah, that's a real number. It turns out I don't like pizza that much and pivoted ever so slightly to selling some other food items to raise a bit of money. Fortunately, Shopify offered me a role selling glasses ice lollies using their Lincoln bio tool, LinkPop, to check out. Can I interest you in a lovely, delicious, refreshing glasses popsicle? No, I don't like blueberry. Off to a good start then. Can I interest you in getting the blueberry flavor. Which one is that? That is the one with uh, my truly drawn what? face in it. So Linkpop is kind of like a link aggregator, right? Curator for all of the links you need, either for like, you know, your Twitter, YouTube. Awesome. Obviously, the added benefit of if you have your Shopify store, it's very easy to link your direct items, put it in your bio, and people can just immediately get what it is that you're trying to sell and see the analytics of what people are clicking on the most and buying. And like other things, you might charge you to put like store links or certain links yeah, yeah, Shopify's yeah. just free. And whilst I did eventually make some sales. Honest thoughts? It's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it's, actually quite nice. it's pretty good, yeah, isn't it? Open this. It's good morning. What flavor is this? There were a couple of other creators selling their popsicles. You asked for blueberry and I gave you- I can return that for you if you want. It's <laughs> taking away from my potential revenue. And guess who I happened to bump into that afternoon? Ryan, um, I want to ask you, what did you base your, uh, your pop off? So this is what I call a fun drink, okay? Mm -hmm. This man. This man right here spent the next 17 minutes telling me how every single trial he'd ever been through, every single thing he had ever done led up to him creating this fun drink ice lolly. You're gonna you know, get the most sales? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing things that I might be. You don't want me to be here? No, no, you know, hopefully we can all sell loads. I'm definitely not trying to sabotage you or sell more of mine so that I can get more money and fund my failing business or anything like It's that. weird. Yeah. It sounds like you're saying that sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he was on to me. Uh, <laughs> really funny. <laughs> but I still managed to sell enough to make my pizza, so I went home. And it looks like this. I go edit it and I don't actually have it. I actually sent it to Texas. The reason I sent it to Texas is because I wasn't sure if the most common method used to color a metal, anodization, would be able to get the kind of vibrant colors I wanted on this pizza. But there is another way, Cerakoting, which my friend Reagan in Texas does. I sent it to him to see if he could do it. But wait, if I need to get footage of the keyboard, that means I have to go to Texas to watch him Cerakote it. Okay, Google, how much is a ticket to Texas from London? It's eight hundred dollars. Oh my god! I will never confirm with tonight that I snuck into the ice cream truck and gassed the people into buying my ice lolly. But what I will confirm is that my personal link pop links to my YouTube channel, Twitter, Patreon, and store. So if you have any, and I mean any, links you need to curate, please check out link pop in the description below. Right, Texas time. Reagan, how are you doing today, sir? I have the thing. Ooh, pineapple pizza, fan. No, not at all. Not a fan? Okay. You know exactly what we're doing today. I need you to figure out a way to make this pizza that pizza. All right. Do you think we can do it? Yeah, definitely. Mixing paints is not what I thought it was. My only real touch point with paints comes from about 20 years ago. It was very simple. You take red paint, you take blue paint, you have the glasses logo. Cerakoting is more like mixing one shade of a yellow I've never seen with another shade of a yellow I've never seen and getting vomit over and over and over again. After doing this many, many times, Reagan had finally diagnosed the problem. What I came to the conclusion of is maybe we could keep going and hit the perfect crust color, but are we not actually ever going to hit a crust color? Because in our minds, crust is comprised of multiple beige and taupe tones. It's like an illusion that crust is you know, a single color. That's way too deep for a keyboard video about pizza. But eventually we did decide on a crust color, poured it into our applicator and got to work.
hand with my Finnish parts and deeper understanding of Italian culture, it was time to build a people. Bon Welcome back to Binging with mm, Gluttony with Glasses. Today we're going to be cooking the world's first pineapple pizza keyboard. And as you know, every good pizza starts with the dough, which we've carved out of the finest Italian aluminium. So we can put that aside and start preparing our stabilizers. You want to go ahead and season them with about 2 grams of Crytox 2 or 5 grade 0, you know, really let the plastic housings and grease get to know each other. Then take about 90 of your favorite switches and mount them into your plate. And once they're all mounted, apply the generous topping of solder wire to the switch pins, making sure not to open cook any joints. Once you've screwed your plate into your cheesy top case, you want to take extra care in mounting your daughter board into the base and connecting it via JST to the main PCB. Now you need to mount your keycaps in a random sure fashion, what keycaps to get. constantly second guessing which combination of red and yellow looks best. I feel like there's too much pineapple. You know what it is? It's the space spot. Oh gorgeous. Top that all off with a sprinkling of pineapple and ham and look at that. There you have it. A pineapple keyboard pizza. And what pizza is truly finished without seeking the opinion of your diminishing Italian audience? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you said you set out to, to make a, a proper pizza. You come out with this? Ah. You said an Italian pizza. Perfect. <laughs> 